Welcome to another public service announcement. I'm sure many of you already know this, but I'm going to lay it out there for the rest of you that don't know and have you learn from my mistakes. So, I think at the very end of the meth injection video, you would have noticed a shiny radiator in the Supra, which was this. This is an eBay radiator, I know, cringe. I bought this eBay radiator off of eBay from a store called Auto Part Cooling. I put it in the car, it fit okay, and shortly after the meth video, I drove it from my house to here, and I noticed that the radiator had a slight leak in it. It was steaming just a little bit, and I contacted the company. It took about a month, I think, for them to even like get back to me. Um, they wanted me to send them pictures, but it wasn't steaming enough to where you could see the steam in the pictures, so I tried to send them a video, but since the fuckers are in China, they couldn't watch my video because they can't watch videos in China because of Tiananmen Square and bullshit. So uh, I eventually was just arguing with them, and they said, okay, well, if you can modify the radiator to fix it, we'll partially refund you. Like, no, I shouldn't have to modify it. It's got a one-year warranty. Warranty your fucking product. And they're like, okay, okay. We will send you a new one for $30. And I'm like, motherfuckers, refund me or give me one for free. I'm, I shouldn't have to pay for a new one. And this was 135 with a one-year warranty. So I eventually said, fuck it. I'll give you 30 bucks. Send me a new one. They sent me a new one, and it doesn't fit. I can show you a comparison picture right here. The mounts on the old one are in the correct spot. The mounts on the new one are slightly off. And I sent them an email, and they will not respond to me. It's been, I think, two or three weeks now, and they will not get back to me. They won't give me a refund, won't even talk to me. So my public service announcement, which is mostly public knowledge of the elite automotive community, but for the rest of us, don't fucking buy eBay radiators, especially from auto part cooling. They're either going to send you a shit product and try to send you another one, or they won't fucking respond to you at all, and you'll just get a shit product. You might get lucky and get a good one, but uh, I've got two right here that are useless. And now, <laughs> I'm going to try to modify the one with the mounts that are slightly off. Uh, I've got a TIG welder. I suck at TIGing aluminum, but I'm going to try. Um... I don't even know if it doesn't leak or not, so if I fix it and put it in the car and it leaks, I'm going to be super fucking pissed, and I'm going to buy a Mishimoto, which I should have done in the first place. So, my main message to you is resist temptation of a pretty and cheap radiator. Do not buy an eBay radiator, especially from Auto Part Cooling. And why you especially should not buy from an eBay company, uh, like a no-name, is upon research I found out that eBay and PayPal only help you out up to 45 days after your purchase. So um, I bought this back in October, and it's now March, so it's still under warranty, but since it's 45 days after the purchase day, eBay and PayPal will not interfere with the transaction. The one-year warranty is an agreement between me and the company. After 45 days, eBay and PayPal back out, and they won't help you. So, I am now stuck with two useless radiators, and I'm out $165. 135 plus 30 for the other one. So, don't even fucking risk it. My car has been out of commission now for months because I was a dumbass and bought a cheap eBay radiator that looked awesome and had a warranty. So, do yourself a favor... Your car is going to be out of commission for months anyway if you get a shit radiator like this. So just put your money aside for those couple of months and get yourself a Mishimoto, a Koyo, or maybe even a cheap Megan Racing. Uh, Megan, I'm pretty sure, is basically the same thing as eBay with Megan spray painted on it. But if you can, try to get a Mishimoto or a Koyo or something nice because... They actually do warranty their products, and they will help you resolve situations, unlike this fucking company. So, this one is basically useless to me because it leaks, and it leaks in the core. It doesn't leak in the tank. So, uh, there isn't really a way for me to fix it. I'm sure it's possibly fixable, 
but I don't know anyone and I don't want to try to fix the core. So, public service announcement, don't buy an eBay radiator, get yourself a nice, good one. Motherfucker! Piece of shit.